Cherry Peach and Double T. We're sitting here waking up at this tight ass resort. Yeah, look at this view. I mean, this place is really costly to stay here, you know. It can cost you a life. Hundred bucks a minute, dog. That's what we're charging if you want to stay here, because this is our property now. Tight ass bathroom. You walk under the bridge. Yeah. Tonight we're playing uh, Ireland 32s on Geary Street, G E A R Y, 3920 Geary Street, Gary or wherever. So. And we're trying to figure out how the fuck we're gonna get people to go to this show, like. Like, we went down, I was hitting up the uh, kids that like Grateful Dead and stuff down at the uh, Golden Gate Park, where JGG was, or JGB band was supposed to play the other night. Uh, and all these, all the people there, uh, like, you know, I was like, hey, we're playing Ireland 32, and none of the, most people were like, I think I met like two people that heard of Ireland 32. Nobody heard this fucking place. Even though it's huge, it's a huge it's, sign on a major street. It's huge, exactly. It's, what the fuck's going on? Like, so I think maybe what it is is they don't have many jam bands play there, or it's a new place, so none of the bigger or smaller jam bands play there, so they don't know yet. So, uh, I'm worried that not many people are going to go to the show, but I don't get it. Maybe the people are going to be built in, a built in audience there, so. But everybody's heard of Gary Street. Everybody knows Gary Street. And it's really freaking close to actually Golden Gate Park and Haight Ashbury. And I believe Ireland 32 is that we're going to make it a new jam, jam band headquarters. And, you know, Indie Rock, Rock Tower. So we're going to fucking lay down the dick like some PVC pipe today. We're going to make a bunch of four way handbills that say, okay, the best jam band ever, something. Best ever at Geary Street, 3920 And, uh, maybe say, maybe we'll even say on the ticket, it's a $10 show, but with this you get in for five. I don't know what to fucking do. I was thinking just telling everybody it's a free show, and then when everybody gets to the show, just be like, oh, I'm sorry. What do you think, Mike? You should just say it's a free show. Do you think Steve that people showed up for us? I don't know if you do. Yeah. 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 Definitely handbills. Oh, hey. We're going to talk about handbills and stuff is a good idea at the park. And, okay. Well, that's what we're doing. So here we are. This is like... We had the um, $5 cover charge at our last show, and that's what made us our money. We were thinking of dropping it. Chris, Chris was like, let's make it free, but it really wouldn't have changed the turn. It wouldn't have. At that particular show. At that particular show. So maybe uh, we need to get people, we need to get out there and get a, a thousand flyers out on the hate and see how what that will, see if that will cause anything. Because I know that that Grand Theft Auto, like, they dump bunch of flyers in town as part of the game. Yeah. Let's do it. Everything that has like a, a hippie type or some type of rock and roll bumper sticker, they get a uh, they get a flyer. Everybody, we just gotta get we gotta go wake these fools up, get some breakfast, get to Kinkos. End of story. Let Oberon design a tight ass like little circle things, and we get the date. Everything it'd be like today, man. It could even say something funny like. Uh, man, let's just say JGB's playing with us, featuring Melvin Seals, and then everyone would be like, and then when he gets there, I'd be like, man, he canceled our show too, just like he canceled at Golden Gate Park. I mean, I know we're going to lay down the dick, dude, because I know it's going to be fucking a fucking sausage fest, dude, and everybody's going to eat. <laughs> everybody's going to eat good sausage in the mouth. <laughs>